we're going over Google Drive today. Uh, so Google Drive is a cloud storage service provided by Google. Um, the cloud storage service is included with your Google account, which includes up to 15 gigabytes free. You can store documents, photos, and videos using Google Drive. Uh, Google Drive is downloadable and accessible across all devices and operating systems. It connects all your devices using your Google account and can be downloaded on mobile devices and desktops, as well as accessed through your preferred web browser. So if you already have a Gmail or Google account, then you already have Google Drive. If you do not have a Google account, you can sign up for free and start using it. Google Drive comes with 15 gigabytes of free storage, which I mentioned previously. Uh, you can upload files and folders from your computer to sync across your devices. And you can also create and store documents right on your Google Drive uh, through other Google Suite uh, applications such as Docs, Sheets, and Slides. So to get started with Google Drive, you must sign up for a Google account if you don't already have one. Um, you can also do so, or you can do so by going to accounts.google.com, uh, where you can choose to create a Gmail account or use your current email address to sign up. After you filled out all the fields, click Next, and you'll be asked to confirm your account through a phone number. Once the account is confirmed, you can start using it. So to download Drive for desktops, you're going to want to go to um, this website. You're going to scroll down and look for the four individuals download option and click download. The download for desktop is called backup and sync. You'll be asked to agree the terms uh, to the terms and services before the download can begin. So once you download backup and sync, it will automatically start backing up your computer. If you'd like to specify specific files to be backed up, you can click the backup and sync icon in the toolbar. Um, so all you have to do is click the three dots and then preferences. From here, you select the folders you wish to back up and deselect any you do not want to be backed up. To download Drive from mobile devices, uh, you can do so by downloading the Google Drive app from your device's store, such as the App Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, you can search for Google Drive and download the app with the icon shown below, which is a little triangle with different colors. Um, so to sync from the mobile app, you're going to click the three lines at the top left uh, corner of the screen and then click Settings, then click Backup. And finally, select what items you're, from your mobile device you would like to back up and sync. Um, so in order to uh, go to Drive from your web browser, you're going to want to go to drive.google.com uh, slash drive, which will bring you to um, Google Drive's web browser. Uh, the web browser version looks like this. And you'll be able to see all files um, and all your folders in your drive. You can also search for anything in your drive by using the search in drive bar at the top of the screen. To add files to your web, um, uh, web browser, uh, you can either uh, drag and drop them from your files or click new in the top left hand corner and then click upload file or upload folder. To delete any file or folder from your drive, you simply right click it and then remove from the menu and then click remove from the menu that will appear and it should look like this. Uh, to create a new folder, click new and then click folder to add a folder to your drive. You can then click and drag any files into that folder. You can also right click a file and click move to and select the folder you would like um, to place the file in. To share files or folders with other people, you can right click the file or folder that you'd like to share and select either share or get a shareable link. To unshare a file or a folder, just right click it and then select share. 
You can click on the status next to the person's name you would like to remove from the folder or the document. Then click remove. Or you can just change their permissions to be different than an editor or whatever they are set as. Um, other Google Suite features such as Docs, Sheets, and Slides work seamlessly with Google Drive. Any files that you create using any of these programs is automatically saved to your drive. So if you have been only if you've been using any of these programs, you've already been using Google Drive. Additionally, any Office files such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files you add to your drive will be converted and can be accessed on your drive using Google Suite programs. There are different Google Drive plans. So to change or upgrade your storage plan, click Buy at the bottom of the left menu bar. Uh, you can choose from storage plans ranging from 200 gigabytes to 20 terabytes. Um, and those you'll have to pay for. All right, so I'm just gonna do a little live demo of Google Drive. Um, so I'm on the web browser version. Um, and so you can see uh, what I have um, open. So for example, this is one of my folders and I call it school because I have all the different folders for where I keep my work in. Um, let's see, this is the new button, what I was talking about, and you can select it to create a new folder or a file upload or folder upload. And so if I clicked file upload, it would pull up my finder and I'd be able to choose whichever one I would like to upload. So, um, let's say I'd like to upload, I'm just trying to figure out what these are. Um this screenshot of um, a little house emoji. I can upload that and you'll see in this bottom corner, um, it would be loading, but now the upload's complete. And now I can see that right here. So if I'd like, here, I'm just, let me just X out of this. If I'd like to move this into a specific folder, so let's say I wanna move this into school, I would right click it and I can see this move to where I can choose where I'd like to move to. So let's select school. Okay, or personal, it's going into personal. And then you click move. So now in personal, I can open it like this. And then if I right click it again, I can um, get a shareable link, which is one way I can share it. And then I can also, so I can copy this link and um, send it to anyone I would like to. And then here, if I right click it again, I can click share. And this is where I could add, you know, Macaulay or um, anyone I'd like to share it with. And then next to um, anyone that I shared it with, I can choose their, um, op their like viewing options. So back in Drive, um, up here is the search bar where I can search for anything. So let me look for, let's say, log, because I have a document, document lane log. Maybe if it'll come up. Okay, well, uh, this is one of my logs, and that was from that. Um, oh, what am I missing? Let's see if I, uh, another way to move something into a folder is you can click and drag. So let's say I want this in middle school. I would just let it go and then a little pop-up will come up saying fonts has been moved into uh, middle school. Um, I can also see over here on this menu bar how much storage I've used. So it says I have used 2.6 gigabytes. Um, and if I click here, it will just let me know what is kind of taking that up. And it's a lot of photos and PDFs. And then here are all my documents. I prefer Google Drive a lot more because you can access it through many devices. Um, although you can do that with iCloud Drive. Um, 
for me, Google Drive is um, easier, I guess, to navigate and um, kind of uh, upload my files and things like that. Um, it's just my preferred way of doing that. Um, so yeah. And I'll and just add on to that um, just quickly that um, iCloud Drive is tra kind of traps you in the um, Apple ecosystem. So it's a lot more difficult to transfer your files out. It's easy to get your files in, but to get your files out, um, is, it's a lot easier with Google Drive. You can actually zip, uh, create basically create a, a folder that contains all of your files and export it in one shot with Google Drive. Um, whereas with um, iCloud Drive, you would have to kind of uh, send one photo out at a time or one file out at a time um, to get it out of the system. So that's one, one thing. Yeah.